So it's just an update on the uh, heat pump water heater. So it's been almost four months. Um, the 24th of this month is gonna be four months. I was gone for about 10 days out of that period, 10 or 12, I wasn't home. But other than that, home all the time. Right now the unit is running. It's about 40 degrees, so there isn't too much fan flow because it's extracting the heat fairly easily. But uh, it did cycle on right now, so you can see it's using uses around 1600 uh, watts when it's at full power let's see yeah you're not even really gonna touch it but I wanted to show you guys the power usage so four months you can see the number 155 that's the day since I installed this so 310 at 12 cents a kilowatt, three times 12 is 36, times, I mean, $37 is what it cost me for four months of heating water, family of six where we don't conserve it. I mean, water is used and abused and we do dishes on our own, we don't have a dishwasher. Um, I would pay 60 bucks a month with an electric water heater in one month for this. Here, I used you know, pennies, pennies compared to that $38, $37 to, to heat for four months. I mean, granted that it's summertime, it's gonna get a little bit less efficient, but uh, you know, very happy with it so far. As you can see the condensation, there's quite a bit. So I have this run down and then it goes further outside while they're in their unit cycled. So this is a four month update, everything's working fine. Uh, one thing that I did do, is I installed a, it's an electric element to stop the tank from rusting inside instead of magnesium because magnesium and copper in contact aren't good. I mean, I know my magnesium rod in my hot water tank isn't touching my copper coils, but just to have a peace of mind and make it as long lasting as I can, I put in the, uh, it's like an electric diode or something that keeps the tank from rusting.